helping your clients move forward and progress even when they're experiencing pain can be a really useful skill set to develop. So one part of this I want to really talk about today is understanding the mindset behind someone who's experiencing pain or the common mindset. So very often you're going to work with someone and if they're experiencing pain, they're going to want to know what is wrong. They're going to want to say, tell me what is wrong and how do I fix it? That is a common mindset for a lot of people who are experiencing pain. Now, at times there may be a certain pathology and there might be a process we need to, to help fix that. But very often the case is going to be someone's just got a bit of a niggly knee, they've got a bit of a niggly back, it might be the shoulder, it might be their neck, the area is sensitive, it might be an area that's been sensitive for a long period of time. Then giving someone a direct answer in what exactly is wrong and how to fix it is extremely difficult. First of all, it's not the personal trainer's responsibility or job to diagnose and give someone a certain protocol on how to fix pain. But yet it's still an issue we're going to have to deal with with clients with these types of questions. So first of all, we need to focus on having the right kind of mindset or encouraging ourselves as coaches and the clients to have the right kind of mindset towards pain. As always, awareness and education is going to form this foundation, guys. So first of all, then the education being, look, if you've got an air that's been sensitive for a long period of time, then the relationship between the sensation of pain and the state of the tissue will get weaker and weaker. And sometimes explain to people that, quite simply, it's more to do with how they're modulating pain and how their central nervous system is working. That might be more to do with the fact is, uh, of why they're experiencing the pain. So I would always focus on the positives rather than what's wrong. So I would say, look, we're going to try and give you the tools to help manage your pain. We're going to help, you're going to help give that individual tools to help modulate it better. And actually, for a basic understanding of pain science, we realise as a personal trainer, we've already got these tools. It's just refining them a little bit more. So as I said earlier, rarely with the case of chronic pain, so pain going on for sort of two, three months onwards, is it going to be just to do the tissue? There's going to be a lot of other factors. And we have given the client the education to say, look, we, we, don't, we can't really tell you what's wrong. I say to the client, I can't tell you exactly why you're experiencing pain, but let's think of some of the factors involved in improving your pain sensation or improving how your brain modulates pain, then we're on the front foot, then we're taking control rather than focusing on what's wrong and focusing on the negatives. So I would start off, as everyone who's following my work will know, using positive language and quality questions. But merged into that, I'm going to use movement. And quite earlier on, I'm going to find, hopefully, movement the client can do that is pain-free. Maybe it might be novel movement. So if someone's getting pain with their shoulders and every time they do this kind of position, can I modify it? Can I do it in a way that the brain hasn't yet formed an opinion of? to take away that pain sensation. Maybe I could find about, or find ways of playing about with meaningful movement. Might be a client with back pain. Maybe I'm thinking of activities they do day to day, like putting on their socks. Could I try and play about with different ways of flexing the hip and flexing the spine to make that movement experience more positive for that individual? Now you're offering value, now you're helping them, and now you're creating a more positive environment. So focus on the things you can control. Focus on the stress management. Focus on the nutrition. Focus on getting quality sleep. Focus on giving them quality movements that actually calm down the sensation of pain. Constantly use positive reinforcement. That might be within a session, saying, look, when you came in, you're all stiff and tight around your shoulder, now look, how, now look what you can do. And if you understand how to use motor control, we understand how the central nervous system starts to work with pain, trainees can develop these tools to massively help someone, as I said, calm down that pain sensation. Remember, trainers and coaches are here to support not here to dictate. You're not there to give someone all the answers, you're there to create a positive environment, to guide and to educate. Educate someone on, on, on some of the factors that might contribute to their pain. 
even though the primary focus is rarely on pain management, quite often we know pain might be a blocking factor for your clients getting results in the gym. So educating yourself a little bit more on pain and some of the points on today's video will massively improve you as a coach, will improve the quality that you, that you offer as a coach, you'll become more vital and ultimately you will help you put your clients progress forward and not be as disrupted by pain.